Marcelli. Hi, how are you? This is a 1968 Mercury Cougar XR7 GT. All right. So you came stock with the 390 motor. Mm -hmm. All right, uh, let's take a look at your car. Oh, thank you. The interior is really messy. Do you want to show the engine? Yeah. Okay. Oh, the only modification I've done, uh, I have two four-barrel carburetors, so the intake manifolds were modified, and then the air cleaner matches that. Otherwise, she came stuck with a 390 motor four barrel. She's one of 310 ever built. That's awesome. So how long have you been uh, having this car? This car has been in my life for 41 years. We met in 1982. My dad bought the car then and I bought the car from him four years later when I was old enough to drive. What year was it? Uh, I bought the car in 86 from my dad. And the year of the car is 1968. Uh, this is the engine? Yes. It's a 390. And the transmission is a C6. Oh, very nice. Thank you. And I put it all together myself. Really? Yes. And when I bought the car, originally she was built with this color here, Lima Tele Gold. It's a really pretty color. It's just not a thing that I like the best. And so I went with purple. But to pay homage, honor to the car, I l painted the motor the color of the original car. So where it was purple at one time, I mean now, it's purple. It used to always be the screen color of the engine. Yeah. That's awesome. So how did you pour it yourself? How did I build it myself? Yeah. Um, so I had to take some things apart and replace them and put them back on. And I have my husband to help me as well. He's a very much a guru with Ford Motors. But like if I had a question about something, I would ask him, oh, what, what, what do I do here? What do I put there and stuff? So <clears throat> uh, we went down with just the top end of it. So the intake, the push rods, uh, the heads, this underneath the valve here is called this is the head and that's where your valve ports are located for your pistons mm -hmm. so there's the intake and the exhaust yeah. and there's push rods for each side uh each for the exhaust and the, and the intake for each mm -hmm. cylinder yeah. and so the lower end of the motor was always put together but we I kind of like balanced, I guess, the top end of it. So on the FE motor, uh, the push rods are not one size. There'll be a slight hundredth of a variation or tenths of, of a variation from intake to exhaust on the same cylinder as well. So they've all been measured out. And uh, we found a company up in Oregon that even laser inscribed on them each push rod for which cylinder it is and if it's for exhaust or intake. Mm -hmm. That's great. How about the battery? The battery? Uh, when was last time you replaced it? I want to say it's been a year. Mm -hmm. yeah. And if I'm not mistaken, uh, Ford's originally, when they had the cars built in, I think it was an Autolite brand battery that was stock to come with them. Yeah. But I trust Interstate. They're much more reliable. Mm -hmm. What update uh, you did to the, the city of the car? Like the tires, the, other than painting? So the tire size originally was um, 215 R70s. And they used to have like a red line around them 
um, like a thin area, like maybe around this area here. And they were, they were like a red line and they call them red walls, but it's very thin. But the tire size I have now are 225, 60 R15s. So I'm not good at remembering all the numbers. And then the wheels as well are um, an upgrade from the original style. Mm -hmm. So on the wheels, the outer part here used to be a knockoff. And then the inner part was always there. So when they made the upgrade, they molded them all together. It's one solid piece. All right, great. Okay, so it was nice talking to you. Nice talking yeah. with you, Emma, as well. I appreciate your time. Thank you. Thank you so much for your interest. You're welcome. Thanks. Enjoy.